Well, we're back uh, to live action here in Helena, Montana. Five to one is the score. The Bighorns over the Nationals. We're going to go over a little bit of the scoring. Uh, our point streak system is down. And so I'm going to recap the goals. First of all, for Helena, the first goal scored by Theo Camp. And he was uh, assisted by Ben Henney. Second goal was Kevin Choi, assisted by Theo Camp. The third and fourth goals were all scored by number 19, Brandon Rumble, defenseman out of Kent, Washington, both unassisted. And then finally, the fifth goal by number 23, Dylan Webster, the forward out of Cedar Park, Texas, assisted by number two, Theo Camp, and 24, Kevin Choi. For the Nationals, their goal was scored by number 15, Tucker Spooner, the 5'9 forward out of Vancouver, Washington. So back here at uh, beginning the third period, the team's not on the ice. The referee and linesmen are checking the ice to make sure that uh, it's all refrozen, no soft spots. couple shout-outs and apologies. Uh, finally was able to corner of the team, the number five for the Glacier Nationals, um, Adno, and I will try to get his name correct as we go forth, and finally, an apology to those fans of Spencer Donnelly, because uh, your son has been playing goal, unfortunately, the list they gave me has number 30 as Dylan Caffrey, so... Apologies to the Donnelly family and all his fans. He's in goal for the Nationals, and I will try not to screw that up anymore, but that's what preseason is all about. Thank you for all your emails. Thank you for the time and uh, you've taken to watch tonight's action. I'm sure many of you are, have sons and nephews and cousins and brothers and sisters that you want to tune in, so we appreciate you on the AWHL network. As we mentioned before, there are a number of these players, both teams a little bit over the limit on uh, the players they have in camp and they are going to have to cut down. So one of the reasons for this tournament is to get a good look at the players in a game situation. And uh, see what they can do. Heading into the third period, there is a penalty on the board for the Bighorns. Wyatt Winfield still in the box. So a power play from the Nationals for 33 seconds. Referee over on the far side. Trying to uh, repair a little bit of ice. That's uh, why we haven't quite got started yet. Said most of the problems with the ice, as I mentioned before, are near the blue lines where the players come in and out of the bench area. Obviously, those areas seeing significant uh, amounts of activity by a lot more people as uh, the goal crease areas. But uh, everything else, not too bad, considering all the problems they've had here. It's also uh, interesting, this may be a uh, kind of a way that the uh, <coughs> arena was built and the, the cooling system put in that the referees are repairing spots in the exact same spot on the far side, uh, on each side, just inside the blue line. So I don't know if the uh, cooling coils maybe bypass that area. I don't have a cameraman right now, so... I'm going to be doing both if I can. And there's an upended situation right off the bat. Bighorns chasing this in their own zone. A power play here right now for the Nationals as they're trying to get uh, going. Watney just sends that back in low to the corner. And here comes Camp. Camp sends this one up to Henny. Henny with a head of steam. Shoots and just off the blocker there of Donnelly. 
Penalty over teams at full strength. And I apologize for not giving you a smooth play-by-play, -play, but I'm trying to follow the action on the camera. And walking and chewing gum was not my specialty. <laughs> I got my cameraman back. We're in good shape. Back to action, 1857 remaining, third period. Elma trying to get it out of their end. Here it comes. That one skipped us. Going to Johnson, or Peterson rather. Peterson with a shot in, and Donnelly making that stop. Talking to the uh, Nationals coaching staff between periods, and they're. Uh, very excited about being able to play at least part of their season against the AWHL and uh, saving them a little a bit on travel and also the competition, they said. They really appreciate that. So we're looking forward to having them this year. Wolter sent that back in and took a big hit now in front of the goal. And just wide. That was... Uh, D. Hansen, who was camped out there next to Donnelly, and boy, what an opportunity he had, and it just went wide. Hol Wolter mixing it up there behind the net. They're going up against a much bigger player, and Joe Dixon out of Anchorage. Mr. Wolter is heading to the penalty box. I think they sent both players off, so... Still skating five on five here. Belling to take this for Helena. Back behind the net. Vitali sends us all the way down. Jones chasing for the Nationals as Helena gets it out to the neutral zone. Here comes Belling. Belling sends it over. This is a delayed offside. Into the neutral zone it goes as Rumble takes his man into the boards. It's going to be an icing. Helena just content with sending it down the ice there, perhaps making a change, but this face-off is going to come down and be at Lazarski's stick side, just to his right. Belling to take this against Givens. Givens loses that one. Helena trying to get it out to neutral zone. D. Hansen, who was kind of in the middle of that fray near the net this last time, coming in. Wyatt Winfield sends that one ahead, but not able to do much with it as Devin Smith tries to get it out of the zone. And he's going to regroup here. Bringing it up. A nice pass there to Parker Olson. Olsen over to Wyatt. Wyatt, oh, just shoots this one wide. Wide and high and into the net. A great opportunity there for Wyatt Winfield. Coming in off the right side, and Donnelly was ready for him. Late changes here by both teams. Winfield wins this draw. Hallgood just sends this one down deep. There's a good try. Hallgood with the drive. Just blocked out front. And there is goaltender on the ground. Loses his stick. And he is playing there and does a fine job. What a melee in front of the goal. Bodies flying and... Uh, the goaltender, Donnelly, was on the ice, shoved to the ice. It was his own player that knocked him down, but his own player was also knocked off balance by a good check there by the Bighorns, but quite a scramble there. Front. Front. 
Thank you, Jill, for that email. I hope I got this situation with your son straightened out. Just uh, some mistakes on the sheets I have here, but we look forward to possibly him playing tomorrow, so that'll be a good thing. Helena dumps back in. Going to be content with chasing here as Nick Mannery is back there. Bringing it out. Rumble. Going to stop by Donnelly. Excuse me, that was Maltz, not Rumble. Sending it in. Changed by the Nationals here. Helena's going to stick with their lineup. Tally sends this one all the way around. It's coming down. Icing is waved off here. Choi trying to get this out. Does not. Good job by the Nationals here. A turnover in front of the net. Choi just takes charge now. and it's, He's checked off behind the net. Good pressure here by the Nationals in the Bighorn zone. Out comes Hoggood. Hoggood trying to get it up the near side boards. Doesn't do it. And there's a hard check that time on the near boards on Jesse Game as he was trying to get it out. There's going to be a penalty here. Delayed call and finally a touch-up by the Nationals. I believe this is going to be either checking from behind or boarding call here. And the penalty going to number 16, Jackson Schroeder, the forward out of Whitmer Lake, Michigan. Two minutes checking from behind. Off the faceoff, Helena has control. Logan Hoggard, excuse me, Logan Henney. Back to Wyatt Winfield. Winfield on the far boards, trying to keep the puck in. Henney's with him, and a good job there. This time by Adno to get that. Out of the zone. Here come the Bighorns on the power play. Peterson back over across. This one for Okada. And Okada loses it. And this is all the way down. Okada now. Back over to Peterson. Peterson sends it across ice. This time it's for Olsen. Olsen. Coming in, he's taking out of the play there as he approached the net. No call. And this one, again down to the hole in. One minute left on the penalty. Power play has not generated any anything this time. <coughs> Excuse me, for the Bighorns. There was very nearly a turnover by Gibbons. He made a good play on that one. Finally, Jones is there. This is... Camp. Camp sends it back to the point. And a nice save there by Donnelly as through traffic, the shot from the point came, it looked like, from Smith. The Helena defenseman out of uh, Rapid City, South Dakota. And there's two heading to the penalty box again. Theo Camp. For the bigger ones, matching minors here, and Johnstone, the defenseman out of Anchorage, for the Nationals. So, still five on four with the matching minors. 36 seconds remaining in the power play here. And I believe a timeout is being called here. We'll get this uh, official call. It is the Nationals call timeout. They want to get things organized. We'll be back in just a moment. Let's write it down. Working uh, right now on the games tomorrow, they're all in Helena. At 10 o'clock, Gillette will be against Billings. 1 p.m., uh, Yellowstone versus Bozeman. At 4 p.m., 
Helena versus Glacier, and then at 7.30, Helena versus Great Falls. Is that correct? It's going to be two different teams. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I think one of the in the final day, I think one of the teams is uh, Sonia is uh, Streeter, who runs operations here uh, for uh, the Bighorns. She does a wonderful job, just giving us up to date. So the Bighorns will have a split squad tomorrow and play a game at four o'clock and at seven thirty. So. If you're a fan of one of the Bighorns players, my advice is to get a hold of them tonight to find out which squad they're on and uh, tune in. The, um, the Glacier team will play Helena again tomorrow at 4 p.m. So the Nationals will, will be in action at 4 p.m. So if you're a National fan, tune in at 4 o'clock Mountain Time. And... Uh, Apparently, is it Missoula that's not playing? I think it's Missoula that uh, won't be in action tomorrow. So, for some reason, the Maulers aren't uh, going to be able to finish out the tournaments. But we do appreciate the Missoula folks for hosting one of the games tonight. Back to live action here. This Helena putting the pressure on. Still five on four hockey. 14 seconds remaining in the penalty. Good job by the Nationals here to get it out. Vitali, the defenseman out of Portage, making sure it gets cleared out of the ice. He's putting a little forechecking pressure on here. Here comes Helena. Henny sends that down low. Swim back. Ben Henny on the side, near boards. Back down. Oh, a nice cross there. And that's not going to stay in. Trying to get it to Wyatt there, and with the penalty expiring, they're going to call icing on this. Linesman running over to the Nationals bench, I guess. They had a, a substitution, an ineligible substitution. Little confusion on their end, but they're getting it straightened out. And we're back to action off the off the drop. A quick little shot there, easily turned away. And Spooner, the lone goal scorer for this national team, tried to get it off. And he's coming on, wasn't able to. Redmond takes a shot there. Behind the play now. Corbin Belling trying to center, wasn't able to. It goes clear down the ice. Chasing it now is Kevin Choi. He's going to get there first. He's got Adno chasing him, and up comes the Bighorns. DeHanson with a shot, backhander just wide. Hanson with a good try there. Belling now behind the net, centers it. Good opportunity again with that time. Mannery coming in hard there, and DeHanson was on the other side. So two good opportunities by the Bighorns on that rush. 12.45 remaining third period. So I'll be back with you for two games tomorrow, looks like. The 4 o'clock against uh, this same Glacier team. And then also at 7.30 against the Great Falls Americans. Little stick action going on before the drop of the puck, and I think the referee's making sure that doesn't get out of hand. Mannery and uh, Jones. There's a chance by Jones. A good pass there from the corner by Kidner. Jones couldn't quite get a full stick on it, but he was in a great position there. Good check off here. Turnover in the zone. There's a shot just high. Nationals, good pleasure on this. is played with a high stick. Kept in. That would be by number 23, Watney. Momentarily kept in the zone, but not able to do that. And high sticking is the call here. Let 
And this is on Kyle Watney, the defenseman out of Post Falls, Idaho. He's going to get two minutes for high sticking. So power play for the Bighorns with 12.08 remaining. Watney assigned with the uh, fans across the way. Watney number 23. They've uh, cheering their player on. Loose puck now out in front. Henny. Look to pull the trigger. It comes back over to Game. Game sends it across. Loose puck couldn't quite be picked up there by Okada. Back to Game. Back out top to Henny. Henny sends a shot right in the face mask of the goalie, Donnelly, who gloves that down for a stoppage of play. 11.37 of the third period. 5-1 to one Bighorn lead. Ben Henney on the draw. Wins this back to the corner, putting pressure on it there. Peterson takes one to the face there with the puck. Manages to keep it in. A little shot. Easily turned away by Donnelly there. Now Gibbons is on the ice. Been helped, assisted by his teammate Kinder. And we have Jesse Game going to the penalty box here. So we hope is a little bit of a coming off the ice tenderly is Austin Givens, uh, the forward out of Vancouver, Washington. We hope that he's okay. He's on the bench now. Took a hard shot there, and we've got. Uh, Penalty by Helena. And that is not on the boards. This has to be a major penalty. I don't know why we're still five on four. I'll try to get that straightened out. Without my stat uh, or my <coughs> access to my computer statistics, I can't bring you that information as quickly as I normally do. Here's Helena still on the power play for 38 seconds. Coming down, Wyatt has it down, brings it back low. Logan Henney back out to the top. Okada sends that back down low. Now across the ice. There's a pass coming down, and they're going to try to tighten things up here as Wyatt was coming along the crease there, and Corbin Belling sent a nice pass right there, and <laughs> Winfield got tied up with his man, Joe Dixon. Both of them are going off. So Dixon off for the Nationals, and Wyatt Winfield off for Helena as they sort this out right below me. Been a little active game for Mr. Spore. Our referee. They have the two minutes up for the Nationals, but nothing up right now. I'm not sure what's going on. It's five on three, but both <laughs> they did have a Big Horn go to the box. I'm not sure what's going on here. But anyway, we're back to hockey. Five on three. There's a scoring opportunity, and Belling just missed the net. Back out to the top. Okada sends it back down to Henny. Back to Okada. Down to Henny on the side. Cross ice. Nice shot. And beautiful save by Donnelly there. As John Peterson, the defenseman out of Sweden, sent a beautiful shot on that crisis cross icer but it didn't make any contact good job by Donnelly sliding over to take care of that 10.06 remaining third period referee calling some of the nationals off the playing surface Show only showing one penalty up a minute 37 
in a little confusion, uh, Adno coming back on for the Nationals. So here we go, the drop of the puck. Back to Peterson. Peterson dropping it back down for Belling to Peterson, who shoots it in. That one didn't have much on it, rising a little bit, was easily gloved down by Donnelly. Well, Lazarski's down at the other end, warming up a little bit. Much of the action has been in the uh, Nationals' end during this, uh, especially the last four or five minutes of this period, so he needs to keep loose. Coming back in, Henny sends it back out. He's fighting along the near boards, trying to keep it in. He does, and unfortunately, Belling couldn't quite handle that as it came across the net. Good check there by the defenseman for the Nationals. Minute six remaining in the power play. Peterson sends us down. He's chasing low. He's got a lot of speed there. Not able to keep it in. And a good clearing attempt there by Jackson Schroeder. Waste some more time off this uh, penalty kill. 46 seconds remains on the Nationals penalty. Henny hits the ice. And another call coming here. It's going to be a tripping call as Ben Henny came across the blue line, was tripped up. And a plethora of penalties. I think they're trying to figure out. I'm leaning over trying to understand. The uh, scorekeeper said no one came into the penalty box. This is one of those situations. I'm looking down. I'm directly above the Nationals penalty box. There are four members of the Glacier Nationals in there. There have been some major penalties, misconducts. So that's why they're in there. And now during this time... Um, they're going to repair the ice. So, it's a little cramped quarters down there. And uh, the latest defender, Jackson Schroeder, has just entered the box. Well, we got a little uh, break in the action here at 9.02 remaining in the third period. Right on the blue line again. Uh, that's where most of the problems have been with the ice tonight. I'm getting that uh, fixed up. Referee pointing out a couple, or linesman rather, pointing out a couple of other areas that can use a little repair. So 33 seconds remaining in uh, the penalty for the Nationals to Joe Dixon. And then, uh, of course, the two-minute one, two minute one just put on the board and just a whole bunch of guys in the penalty box in general. We hope you're enjoying tonight's action on the AWHL Network. We'll be back uh, broadcasting tomorrow from the Helena Ice Arena. All the games will be broadcast. And I will be here for the 4 o'clock and the 7.30 games. So we hope you join us and your favorite team, favorite players, you follow them. It's actually a pretty good thing that uh, Helena is going to get the split squad tomorrow because there's a lot of guys who really want some playing time and want to show off their stuff in this preseason action. So we look forward to seeing that. Of note to Fairbanks, Alaska, <laughs> the Walter family, your son Jacob is in the penalty box. Jacob, as I mentioned earlier in the broadcast, is uh, billeting at our home where we've enjoyed him very much. I think he's getting used to our crazy family and uh, – we're getting used to his habits, but uh, we've had a good time with him. He's a good kid. We should be very proud of him, but uh, right now he's not on the ice because he's in the penalty box. Trying to refresh my browser here. See what we have coming in. A little bit of a delay. I'm sorry about the uh, pause in the action. But we're about ready to get started here. They just want to make sure that the ice surface 
is in a safe condition to play, and it looks like we're getting ready for action here. Last bit of repairs coming. These players trying to keep warm by milling around on the ice. Try to get you some close-up shots. Our cameraman doing a wonderful job. Trying to let you see some of your favorite players. And the referee is gone over to the far side talking to, <coughs> excuse me, the uh, one of the off-ice officials here. As we're still doing a little bit of repair. You can look around and, uh, to the... Uh, Arena and uh, see some of the uh, spots where the ice is a little thin. I think they're going to be working hard tonight to keep increasing the thickness. And then the face-off coming now down in the Nationals' end as we're getting ready for action. This will be to Donnelly's glove side. Off the draw, coming back to the point. Rumble sends this across to his teammate Smith. Smith down low. Shot, and Henny denied there by Donnelly. Good job by Donnelly to come over. Great passing by Helena there. And the net's off, so that's the reason for that whistle. But another great opportunity by Helena. The passing looking crisp. But Donnelly doing his job, coming over and, and cutting off that angle quickly. And able to get that save. Henny with the tie up there. Looking to get it to a teammate. Finally goes down low. Now back to Henny. Henny sending it down below the net to Webster. Webster circling back up to Smith. Smith back over to the other key. Oh, and now a wonderful opportunity. Ben Henny just shaking his stick as that came over to to Rumble, who sent it right down to Henny, and it hit his stick, and, or excuse me, his skate, and then went right toward the goal. So, Ben a little upset at himself for letting that go get away. Face off, the first penalty is over, so we're back on a five on four situation here. Still no icing here. Big Horns retreating, looking to get something set up. Smith brings it up. He's surveying. Sends that one down deep. Webster chasing this behind the net. Puts a big hit on the Nationals player there. Henny. Walking in, a shot rebound. Comes out wide. The centering pass not there. Here comes the Nationals. Adno. Took a run at it. Excuse me, that was Chris... Cutchell, forward out of Anchorage, Alaska, who took a run at it, but they were ready for a line change, backed off. Here comes Helena. This is Belling chasing this. He's there along with Watney. Watney been very active tonight. Now back to the Helena Inn, where Kevin Choi is going to chase this one down. He's going to set it up. Moving up the far side. Coming back over to game. Game. Gating, excuse me, that's Henny. Henny walking in, score! A beautiful far post shot. And Ben Henny on the board again to make it a 6 to 1 Bighorn lead. Well, having called the Bighorns games last year and watching Mr. Henny play, if you're the defenseman, for the Nationals, you do not let Ben skate toward your goaltender. He's got a lot of speed. He's got a lot of great moves. And he made him pay there, but he's got a great shot. He put that just inside the post. Here they come again. This is Belling. Belling at a steam. Shoots just wide. Gets the puck back. And there's going to be a cross-checking call here coming up. Delayed penalty. 
This coming back low, D. Hansen tries to send this over and could very well be another cross-checking penalty. As two players hit the ice this last time, Corbin Belling hit hard. And it is Brandon Vitale heading to the penalty box, and actually two are heading. The, I thought he called two penalties, and he did. This is uh, Cody Johnson, the forward out of uh, Chelsea, Michigan. And now we're ready. So a two-man advantage for Helena. And they've been pretty active anyway. So we have Hallgood. Hallgood sends this over to his partner, and there's a blast by Choi. Just misses the net. Got to be a very tiring situation when you're five on three. Oh, what a good job to poke that away by the Nationals. Not able to get it out, though, as Henny working it hard there. Here comes Belling. Belling with a shot loose puck in front. They can't get it out. There's another drive, and that one deflected just wide by Hoggood. Back over to Choi. Choi sends this one in. A pad save there. Logan, Hoggood, sends us across. There's across the center now, loose puck. Now back to D. Hansen chasing the corner. He's against his number counterpart, Joe Dixon. There's a pass out, comes back to the point for Choi. Choi just sends it down to Hansen, and there's an intercepted pass, and a good job by the Nationals here. They've dodged a couple bullets, and... Not sure what the uh, call was here, but the faceoff will be down in the Helena zone. Six to one. Bighorns in the lead. 5.33 of the third period. Two penalties right now on the board for the Nationals. So it's a five on three situation. And here come the Bighorns on the far side. Wolter gains the zone. Looking for somebody to pass to. Comes to the middle. Looking to get in front. He does score! Walter to Nick Mannery. For the score. Well, it's good to see Jacob get a point there. Fed a nice pass. Good speed across the blue line. Coming through and behind the net. And a good pass there. For Nick to put it home. 7-1 to one is the score now. 5-20 remaining. One of the penalties off the board. It'll be a... Still remains a 5-on-4 situation here. And another stoppage of play as... They're looking at uh, down on the... Nationals end is uh, another piece of ice is missing. Obviously, uh, you want fair play with the surface of the ice, and you definitely don't want to see a player get injured because of an uneven ice surface. A couple of the um, crew here that normally work on the ice, uh, they've been very frustrated also. Because of the um, just the equipment situation that they've had here, and uh, they've been working, I know, very hard to get the surface ready. And they're going to suspend the game. So I think it's the decision of the refereeing uh, crew here to suspend this game. I don't know if it'll be temporary. It looks like it's going to be. They're going to call it at seven to one. You know, and I think this is a good call. This will give them some time to uh, repair the ice and uh, get it ready for tomorrow's games. But uh, so we'll have a shortened uh, contest tonight. And this is the way it's going to end. So the final score is 7-1 in this preseason action. DJ Automotive... 
preseason tournament. We hope you've enjoyed the broadcast. Again, tomorrow action starts at uh, 10 o'clock. The Helena teams will be playing at both 4 and 7.30, and this Glacier team playing one of the split squads at 4 o'clock. So be sure to tune in then to the AWHL Network for Scott Bradford and the entire crew here in Helena. We wish you a good evening. Thank you for joining us, and good night.